15 to 7. With Jerry Glanville, this is Kevin Harlan. Green Bay has capitalized on three interceptions by Rick Meyer. There's also been a fumble. Turnovers have resulted in 17 Green Bay points. It's hard to believe when you watch this game, everything that's happened to the Seattle Seahawks. They're playing on their side the 50. 22 defensive snaps for Seattle on their side the 50-yard line. Green Bay has had 10 first-half possessions. Five have started in Seattle territory. And Green Bay got on the board first. Eugene Robinson made an interception that set up this first Favre touchdown pass. And Favre lost his number one receiver. Brooks got hurt early. He had a concussion on the very first play. Uh, so this is after an interception. This is an interception by defensive lineman. Sean Jones is sacking the quarterback, chasing him around. He tries to do a throwaway and throws it right to Reggie. That set up a 36-yard field goal by Chris Jackie. That was the third career interception by Reggie White. And then Seattle got on the board with a 37-yard touchdown run by Chris Warren. And we've been wanting yards after one tackle, two tackle, three tackles. Darrell Williams missed him. And here's what we've been talking about, yards after contact. This is the high. He hadn't been doing that. 52 yards after being hit by Eugene Robinson, Santana Dotson. George Koontz, everybody had a shot at him, but nobody got him down. That's what he used to do in years past, yards after contact. So Green Bay will kick off to begin our second half. Hendrick has the ball teed up, and it's a low-line drive. Out of bounds, Steve Broussard from the five-yard line for Seattle. And he finds an opening to the 36 and finally brought down by Green Bay linebacker Bernardo Harris. It's a return of 30 yards. Now, this will shock you whether you're a Seahawks fan or a Green Bay fan. The Seahawks have more yardage than the Packers. It's been field position that has totally killed. And look at look at the uh, rushing yards. 69 for the Packers and 73. 14 to 16 rushing attempts. That's been close, and that's keeping the Seahawks in it, but it's been field position and turnovers. I think Seattle's defense played well. They just had to play on their side of the field the whole day. Bernardo Harris, Bernardo Harris comes off the field for Green Bay, and Rick Myers stays in the game. Rick Myers getting hammered, getting hit pretty hard, not having a good day. 20 attempts, nine completions. Two. Oh, that's far, pardon me, four out of 17. I saw the two touchdowns. I knew that wasn't Meyer. <laughs> <laughs> He's thrown three interceptions, which ties a career high. Meyer throws incomplete, looking for Matt Strong. Full back out of Georgia, coverage by Doug Evans. It'll and, be second down and ten. And Doug Evans was all over him. He had that thing in some other coverage. They went down and low, and he went down and low with the receiver. Second down and 10. Warren for his first carry. That time stood up Santana Dotson, Gilbert Brown, tag teamed him at the line of scrimmage, and then they throw him away like a rag doll. And they knew that was a run. Eugene Robinson out of the secondary ran all the way up in the linebacker position before the ball was ever snapped. So they knew second and long was going to be a run, and they built too many people in there. Seattle couldn't block everybody that was in there. There's old Fritz Schumer, defensive coordinator. We started together in Detroit way back in the 70s. He's been with every other team I can think of, still doing a good job. 64 years old, has the number one defense in the NFL coming into today. Go down and 10. Three wide receivers for Miami. Green Bay rushing four. Pocket. He's got to get up to the 46 for a first down, and he is sideswiped at the 44. Wayne Simmons, the outside linebacker, caught up with him. They're a couple yards shy of the first down. Well, Reggie White had to leave the game after that interception. He did a little bit of run and ran out of gas, but <laughs> Reggie is back. Watch Reggie's penetration. They're pulling the old tackle, Howard Ballard, out of there, the old Buffalo Bill, but Reggie makes the quarterback run. So Seattle can't capitalize on their 30-yard kickoff return and a high punt by Rick Tootin. 
Desmond Howard, the catch at the five, breaks one tackle, and then he'll go down at the eight. A flag has been thrown, 51-yard punt by Rick Toot. And he should have been knocked out. When you don't signal fair catch with a high, high punt, with a man bearing down on you like he had, he's lucky he didn't get knocked out on that play. What is it rule you were telling me? Any punt inside the 10-yard line? You don't back up for anything inside the 10 with any amount of hang time. Your feet never go deeper than the 10. You you fake like you're going to catch the ball away from the Illegal ball. Formation. So they case you. Number 21 on the kicking team was not on the line of scrimmage. Five yards, repeat fourth down. They'll so do this one over. Green Bay gets a break. Otherwise, they would have started inside the 10. James McKnight was the split end. And he had a full shot to come down and knock Desmond Howard out, and he missed him. You can see that Howard has returned every kick, kicked in his direction except one. That is, that's your kind of guy. But it didn't sound like a guy that would run out of bounds like he did early in that first quarter. But he's rectified himself. He hadn't run out of bounds since. He's had a couple good punt returns today. One of 29 yards. Tootin's a punt again. Two. Not as good, Kevin. And a break for the Packers, and on the fly, a fair <laughs> catch. <laughs> That's what we get for bragging on him. And why would you fair catch that bad kick? Maybe he was told to fair catch it. 39-yard <laughs> punt, 13-08 remaining in the third quarter. <laughs> to Sunday is brought to you by Porsche, who wish to remind you there is no substitute. By Michelin, because so much is riding on your tires. By American Express, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, American Express helps you do more. And by McDonald's, official break of the NFL. Well, one of the great symbols of this country is right here in Seattle, the Space Needle built for the 1962 World's Fair. I was up in that Space Needle last year. Some people think you're still up there right now. <laughs> Made me nervous. <laughs> First and ten for the Green Bay Packers, up 17 to seven. Far going to his second receiver. Now he's going to run the ball, and he picks up six on the run to the 29. And he went feet first. That means he is untouchable. But it also means the ball goes where you hit the ground. If you hit and you slide an extra two yards, the ball comes back. That's what Young has to learn how to do. Take the slide for San Francisco when you're not making the play to win the game. Now, if that was play was trying to keep the last drive away, I know Fire he'd have run over you. Second down, four yards to go, and Barb has a split backfield. After Bennett, with Taylor giving a block, and that gives him a first down. For the 36-yard line, a great block by Aaron Taylor. First down and 10, Green Bay. Aaron Taylor's the left guard, and he's going to lead this thing. Number 73. He lines up right here, and he's going to pull and lead. Edgar Bennett get the block on Michael Barber. On the outside linebacker, a lot of that thing turned up inside. You know, Jerry Aaron Taylor has had a first former first round pick out of Notre Dame has had two major knee operations. So to see him out there is a miracle unto itself. Every knee operation is hours and hours of rehab. Barb with the first down and ten, looking for Bennett with the great move. There comes a flag, and Bennett, at least pending the call, has a first down to the 46 yard line, tackled. On the play by Michael Barber, who followed him, it seemed like, all over the field to bring him down. Well, Mike Chamur was the tight end of the bootleg side and never went out for a pass. It's against the Seahawks. The tight end, Mark Chamur, he's the guy that goes out on the bootleg, and he just kept blocking uh, Sinclair. Never went out, and that's why Fire threw it all the way across. Fire was like me. He looked out and said, where's my guy? 25 defense. Penalty is declined. Last week, the Seattle Seahawks were penalized 13 times in their win over Tampa. Today, the penalties for both teams look like this. Three for Seattle and for Green Bay, two. Penalty on Robert Blackman. He's the safety out of, uh, out of Baylor University. First down and 10 for Brett Favre from the 46-yard line. Goes is the Chimura, his all pro tight end. First down to the Seahawks 43. That's a pickup of 11 yards. 
Right now for the McDonald's game break, let's return to James Brown at our Fox Television Center. Kevin and Jerry, here's where you get too hungry. Marquez Pope, 23 in red. Hit one earlier, tried to jump the slant here. Pays the price as Tyrone Brown hauls in his first career touchdown. 33-10 San Francisco, less than four remaining in the third. Back to Jerry. Tell Jerry, Kevin, I've cut my collar. All right, JP, you got it. First down and 10 yards to go from the 43, and this is Dorsey Levin, who pulls a defender on his back to the 39. He picks up four, or he's brought down and tackled by Dean Wells. The fullback, watch the block on the linebacker. Watch Winston Moss, wham, right on the knee, dumps him. The back does not follow the block, though. Dorsey Levins goes the other way. He's supposed to be following that lead blocker. If Green Bay wins today, they're tied for first place. The Vikings have lost. Detroit has won. Chicago won in the last second field goal. Second down and six for the Packers. Here's the sweep, and it goes to Edgar Bennett. He gets a free flop from Levins, and that gives him a first down to the Seattle 27, and that's a pickup of 11. Well, it's, it's Packer football. First. Adam Timmerman, the right guard, this time is going to do that. They can't run over these people, so they pull. There's the block. Well, here comes Timmerman, 63, leading around the corner, trying to wall it off, letting Bennett get upfield. Good block downfield. Henderson has replaced Levins. Both guards are having trouble running up inside on Kennedy and Adams, so now they're pulling both guards and running the corner. It is a first down for the Green Bay Packers, leading 17 to 7. Barr throws another first down pass to the 15 yard line to Antonio Freeman, a gain of 13, as Brett Favre, Jerry, is shredding the defense of the Seahawks. He's shredding them because there's no pressure on him. Good protection. They've shut down, they've shut this down, and there'll be a man in the curl, and he can throw the curl. Watch him. Wow. That's, uh, that's like picking a chicken wing. You got to get pressure on fire or the game is over. You just don't want to choke on that chicken bone. <laughs> huh? Eighth play of the Green Bay Drive. It began back at the Packers 23 yard line. Two, Two tight ends. Woo. And the handoff, Edgar Dunham. To the 10, he picks up five. Winston Moss got him first. Taking the, the first drive, coming out here. And it's not like the first half. They are moving the ball on the ground, throwing the ball, and pass protected. This is the Green Bay that started off undefeated. 46 snaps, 26 of them in the Seattle territory. So you know the Seahawks defense is a little bit regular. Second down and six from the Seattle 10. Ninth play of the Green Bay drive. Far. Touchdown! It's the tight end, Keith Jackson. And what a throw. Can you break on this ball? Absolutely not. There's no time as a defensive player to break. You better be all over your guy. Watch the RPMs of the ball. Watch the revolutions. This is a rocket. Can you break on that? No. Can you stand around and wait? You can't do that. 33, Darrell Williams waiting to knock it. You've got to go to the receiver before the ball is thrown. Keith Jackson's first catch today, his first catch in two weeks. He did not catch a pass last week in Minnesota. Jackie is true. 8-24, third quarter, and the Packers in their first second-half possession far to Jackson. It's 24-7 Green Bay. Kevin Harlan, Jerry Glanville, the Kingdom in Seattle, Brett Favre, three touchdown passes moments ago to Keith Jackson, who picks up his fifth touchdown reception of the year. And Brett Favre and the Packers lead it 24 to 7. Hendrick with the kickoff. And Steve Broussard will chase it down. Two yards deep in the end zone for Seattle. He breaks one tackle. And he almost broke a second as he takes it to the 21-yard line, tackled by Ron Cox, the former Chicago Bear. 24-7 Green Bay, 8-13, third quarter. Here he goes. Kevin Harlan, the Green Bay Packers lead it 24-7 over Seattle. And here's Seattle, 10 possessions, 4 turnovers, and 5 3-and-outs. 
and that's not good for Seattle, but you got to give the Packer defense some credit. They're playing pretty emotional football. I think them getting beat last week, but trying to show that was a fluke. Brett Meyer will go right to work on first down and 10 for the Seahawks, and he has a wide open running back, Chris Warren, up past the 40, near midfield, and into Packer territory at the 46-yard line. A pickup of 33 and a big play for Seattle. First and 10 play action. If Warren can't run out of the backfield, get it to him on the pass. Here's your man. Fake it to him. Oh, linebacker fell down. George Coons got tripped up and fell down. As you can see, he's a full load against the secondary people. We're going to give Warren a blow to bring in Lamar Smith. Run back and three wideouts deployed by Meyer. Smith. And he works his way, dancing to the 42. He picks up four, and George Koontz makes the stop. Trying to take all the pressure. Take, don't let it just end up a drop back throwing game. Try to catch up. So a, a little play action pass and then a run. Trying to help their quarterback who's been hammered. Rick Meyer hadn't had much chance, but these two plays will help slow down that pass rush. Maybe. That's Doug Evans, who you just saw, number 33. He'll be replaced by rookie Tyrone Williams. So Williams is the quarterback, and let's see if Meyer works on him. Second down and six. They don't. They go to the middle, and it's a pass completion in the middle end for a first down to the Green Bay 33-yard line and caught by Brian Blades. That's a pickup of 10. And that's what he does best, a slant, and Blades can catch a slant. He's fearless coming inside. He, and this is what they did best. They won last week by throwing the slants. He'll do this, just step in, one, two, and fire, so this can't sack him, can't press him, see it, one, two, throw it. That's how they had success against Tampa. Blades with his first reception, Seattle on the move, trailing 24 to seven, first and 10, but throw is incomplete at the 25 yard line. Going for wide receiver Mike Pritchard, it'll be second down and 10. A little bit low, a little bit inside. What route does he throw the best? The slant, the slant. He hit on a fade today, but watch this. Come right back inside. Throws a little bit of low ball. Good try to catch it. Good effort. Call it incomplete. Seahawks began this drive back on their 21-yard line. Chris Warren is back in the game. Second down and 10. Chris Warren over the right side. And he is to the 27-yard line. He picks up five. It'll be third and five upcoming. We'd like to thank our United Kingdom audience at Sky Sports for joining us today. Welcome aboard and hello to our friends, Nick Halling, Mike Carlson, and producer Charlie Balchin in London, bringing you all the action live. How about Lady Di? You're not going to say hello to Lady Di? And Princess Diana, welcome as well. Third down, third down and four. Blitz, all out blitz by the Packers. Meyer, his first option is gone. White is in his face in the pass. Broken up beautifully by Craig Newsom, the cornerback who left in front of the intended receiver, Mike Pritchard, and the pressure from Santana Dotson and Reggie White up the middle. All these people are going to be blitzing. He has to make the check to the left. He doesn't like it. Nice block by the fullback Chris Warren picking up the blitzer. And Newsom had a shot at interception cut right underneath the out route. Well, until, until a couple weeks ago, Todd Peterson hit it 14 consecutive field goals. He has missed one, four or five this year. And this will be a 44-yard attempt on the Rick Tooth hole to the Kevin Mawai snap from center, and it is good. So Dennis Erickson takes advantage of Peterson, the kicker. And the gap is narrowed in Green Bay on top by 14. Well, Jerry and I hiked that yesterday. It was a, it was a tall uh, order, but Mount Rainier did not beat the coach yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I've circled that in a chartered flight out here one time. This guy here is a Packer fan that got a ticket, but he had no sleep last night. Too much wine and cheese before the game. Those Packer fans. He had a fans. Sonics hat on, really. He did, didn't he? Yeah, let's see the Sonic. Well, the old colors of the Sonics are now the... Look like a Packer hat. Yeah. Up here, it doesn't matter. You're just so happy to be here. You don't care. 
Todd Peterson kicks off Don Beebe, and he's got a world of speed. He takes it from the five-yard line for Green Bay. He breaks one tackle, he breaks a second tackle, and he head over the heels to the 20-yard line. Brought down by Jay Bellamy. As you see, San Francisco walloping Atlanta 36-10. to Now they are in the fourth quarter there. I asked Beebe, when did you know you had great speed? When did you know you were faster than all the other kids you played with? He said, when I had a paper route, and the dogs would chase me, I realized the dogs couldn't catch me. <laughs> he said, you know, before he ever even got into high school, he says, I was faster than the dogs. That's a pretty good sign you're going to be able to run. Baltimore beat New Orleans today. Jim Moore begins 0-5 for a second consecutive year. Detroit's won a couple in a row. They're 3-2. Pittsburgh beats Houston today. First down and 10 for quarterback Brett Favre. He's thrown three touchdown passes today, and he gives it to his plow horse. That is William Henderson. And Dean Wells makes the stop. It's a gain on the pass of seven. It'll be second down and three. Henderson, Jerry, like so many great blocking fullbacks in the NFL, Sam Gash at New England, Charles Way with the Giants, Lachey Maston with Jacksonville. They can do a lot of things, but basically they block. They basically block, but in the 49er passing offense, which the backers are, the fullback has to catch the ball out the strong side. Second down and along two yards to go, and Edgar Bennett races for the first down to the 31-yard line. And we were talking about Henderson, and there he was with the good block. He ran the kickout block and opens up the hole. Wants the rookie tackle, too, Jerry. There's the block right there. Stick him, keep your hat inside, and Winston Moss does come off and make the tackle, but it's a first down before he gets off. Bennett today is 68 yards. A little over 30 last week against the Vikings. So Green Bay with the number six rushing attack in the NFL against the number 30 rushing defense of Seattle. Now starting to eat up some of that clock, and there's a pass over the head of Edgar Bennett, whacked by Dean Wells, and a flag was thrown on the play. If you watch film on Seattle and you sit down in your living room, you turn on your projector, you watch a game, Dean Wells is a hitter. He's a chaser, a hunter, and a guy that wants to smack people. How about this officiating crew? Offside, 70 defense, five yards, deep first down. They let both teams play. They never, you never walk away when this crew's doing the game saying, the officials stole the game. This crew lets both sides play. Maybe one of the best uh, officiating crews in all of football. There's Dennis Erickson. Erickson now in his second year. First down and five. The penalty was on Seattle. Play action for Farr. Oh, he's got the all-court oh, yeah, <laughs> Mark Chimura, who is down to Seattle's 47-yard line. It's a gain of 17, and Favre has to scrape himself off okay. the floor of the kingdom. How about jumped out of here? Favre got almost smashed, and then Chimura got hit. Two great hits by the Seahawks. Winston Moss drills Favre. Wham! Right in the jaw. And now watch the hit on Chimura. Look at his helmet's got knocked off. Wow. Look at that snap of that head. Then watch this one. Chimura gets to turn around and wham! Robert Blackman put him down. Oh, we talked to Robert Blackman now. He's full football. First down and 10 handoff. Edgar Bennett inside the 40-yard line to the 37-yard line of Seattle. Brought down by Darrell Williams. Another great block by the rookie left tackle, John Michaels, making his first start today. And here go the flags and from all quadrants. And Fire broke his chin strap. He ran to the sideline on that hit. He's trying to get a chin strap. Both teams are out there fighting. And Fire's going up and down the sideline getting a new chin strap. Winston Moss has is, is argued. Five is Winston Moss. Green Bay was clapping, and if that's any indication, oh, you don't know, but they were clapping when the flags came in, listening to the referees, and it would appear it's against Seattle. I didn't see it. I saw a fire running to the sideline. Necessary roughness, personal foul. Number 55 defense. 15 yards, first down. Well, that kills you. You just get within 14 points. You're making a run at it, getting back in the ball game. And you let him move the ball down there on a penalty. 
This is as close as they've been in a while. You've got to play smart when you're coming back after him. Favre got the new chin strap, by the way. Next week on Fox NFL Sunday, join Terry, Howie, JB, and Ronnie when they Oh, well, they grow new hair, and when they take an in-depth look at some of the top quarterbacks from around the league, it all begins at noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific time. Check local listings. Kevin Harlan, Jerry Glenville in Seattle. All out blitz. Seattle's going on a blitz. And Favre is changing the play. Everybody ready, everybody. Here they come. Here they come. Favre's got single coverage, and he's just that close to Don Beebe. It's incomplete. As Favre just misses at second down, Beebe taking the place of the injured Robert Brooks. And before that, Favre had hit seven consecutive receivers. Wow, and, and B.B. had such a great play and a great run last week. And here's a guy that had some hamstring problems. He had a little hamstring problem, and, and what he does now, he loads up on fluid. He's out to this side, going to try to run the quick slant, a little stutter outside. Working on the former Panther, Corey Harris. Second down and 10 yards to go for Brett Favre. Edgar Bennett tries to wiggle his way for a couple. Picks up just two yards, penetrating the 20. Brought down by Dean Wells and Sam Adams, who's played the entire game at his left tackle. Again, they're going back to pulling the guards. Don't try to run over these big tackles. They'll pull, and then the back, it'll leave a hole for the back to cut in. And he cuts right in where the guard pulled, and Dean Wells never gets fooled. He's always right there making the play. Down and eight for Favre. Then it goes in motion out of the backfield, leaving Henderson to block. Favre to the end zone and broken up. Beautifully timed. It's incomplete as Darrell Williams wow. was defending Antonio Freeman inside the five. Well, Darrell Williams has tried to knock out everybody in the Packer uniform. He started off the game knocking Robert Brooks out, and then he's going after everybody the whole game. And the, you got to say the Seahawks defense Hadn't had a break, and they just keep on fighting and keep hanging in the ball game. Nice job. He got his right hand on his shoulder and put his left hand in like he's going for the football. So the defense will hold Green Bay to just a field goal attempt. This will be a 38-yard attempt by Jackie. And the kick is up and no good. And Seattle's defense is held again. 153 remaining in the third quarter of play. The defense of Seattle, a very silent story today, but looming large as Jackie misses the field goal. Missed 38-yard field goal attempt by Chris Jackie. Watch the spot. That means that's where the ball is going to be, so the kicker knows where it is. Craig Hendrick is the punter. The spot's here. The ball's a little bit off the spot. That'll make the kicker go crazy, and that makes the ball fade to the outside. A miss. Green Bay leads it 24 to 10. Seattle, first down and 10. The end of round. And it goes to Galloway. First time he has touched the ball today. And he runs out of bounds. Well, he's touched it on another run. But you were saying he hasn't got a pass yet, has he? Right. He has not caught a pass today. And he's out of bounds at the 33 yard line. How can Galloway not have a pass thrown to him? He told us when he was five years old, he said he was going in the National Football League. Galloway, he said, I'm not smoking. I'm never drinking. My entire life, nothing's going to stop me from going in the National Football League. Second down and five. Meyer again pressure. Meyer throws it out to Chris Warren. And Warren... Gains maybe a yard. He did after he was chopped down by Craig Newsom, who sealed him against the boundary. How about Meyer? He's you got to be part magician to get that ball out here today. And Meyer's having a heck of a problem. But when you got Reggie White, Dotson, Brown, Sean Jones on defense, you're going to give quarterbacks problems. Erickson has stuck with Meyer. Has not yanked him, which could have been an easy thing to do in the first half. But Erickson has said, "I'm sticking with this kid." No matter what. Third down and five. Drop one. And it goes to Broussard. And he gets the first down. A change of pace back. Steve Broussard, who returns kicks, picks up a quick 10 yards. And that's a big, big first down for these Seahawks. They needed something good to happen. They brought little Broussard in. 
Man, it feels like I drafted everybody. Only. I drafted him one time. Good block downfield. Broussard gets his first carry today in the offense, but he's been returning kicks all game long. Well, they came in with three wides, one tight end, which they usually throw out of, and they caught the Packers playing all back. Higher again as the third quarter winds down. On first down and 10 throws, and it's incomplete for Ricky Pohl. And that's a play. The Packers were expecting run. They took the safeties and ran them up in like linebackers, and they thought that uh, Seattle was going to come right back with another run, and they threw him with a slant. Remember, his pass is the slant. The one thing Meyer can do is the slant. I don't know why the corners don't come in and play all inside. They're, they're staying outside shoulder, which they shouldn't do. Defense. First down, Seattle. It'll come from your right side on your TV. Oh, you got a hold of him. Plus, he's outside. If you're going to play Meyer, no balls go outside. Take your defensive backs, Kevin, and play him inside because he only throws the slant effectively. Ten seconds left in the quarter. First down and ten for Seattle. Just into Green Bay territory. Meyer, the pump fake, and he was held up there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Receiver Galloway was held up, and the ball is picked off, but they'll wipe that away. Mike Pryor no picks off the quarterback, but that is a penalty flag against Green Bay in a first and ten for Seattle. They were going for Galloway, throwing to him for the first time today. Well, the only deep ball I ever see from the Seahawks is a double pump. So he faked the slant, and when he did throw the ball, he tried to go up, and the Packers hit him, which is more than five yards downfield. But it's, I don't understand how you only throw deep on a double pump. That's all I've ever seen on film from him. That is the fourth penalty against the Green Bay Packers today, the third on the defensive unit for Coach Mike Holmgren. And look at this. When you're down 14 and now you're moving the football, you got a whole quarter. You still got a shot here. Doug Evans jumped the slant. He did the right thing. When he knew it was a, a double pump, he had to interfere or give up something big. It'll be to your left. There's the fake pump. And now Evans, there it is. There's the pump. But why would you only have a pass route off of a deep ball? Anytime they throw a deep ball, there's a fake this and throw fake. Throw some deep balls without a fake. Give the quarterback a chance. Air that thing up. One second left for Rick Myers. Hand off goes to Chris Warren as the third quarter comes to a close. He picks up three to the Green Bay 41-yard line. That's the end Seattle of the very quarter. much alive as we go to the fourth quarter. That's the end of the third. The score, 24-10 Green Bay. Fox NFL Sunday will continue after these messages from your local Fox station. Your... Beautiful day to sail a boat on Puget Sound here in the great Pacific Northwest or be inside the kingdom. We begin the fourth quarter. Green Bay on defense. Seattle with the ball. A second down handoff and it goes to Chris Warren. It was chopped down low, brought down by Gilbert Brown. It'll be third down and about four to go. With Jerry Glanville, this is Kevin Harlan. Brett Favre has thrown three touchdown passes. Jerry, the Seahawks refuse to die. You got to take your hat off to their defense. They've been on their side to 50 the whole ball game. Total yards. Can you get any closer? 247 to 240. Waiting for the turnovers. We'd probably have a tie ball game. Third down and two. The handoff to Warren. Close. But Darius Howland was there and may have stopped the first down run. Now, see, I didn't think that was full speed running. And, you know, we, everybody's trying to get Warren going. I, I didn't see him slam it in there. Wow. Just go in there like you're trying not to live forever. I didn't see that. He got the first down. Well, he didn't need it. Right now for McDonald's game break, let's return to James Brown at our Fox Television Center in Hollywood. Kevin, the rookie, Tony Banks having a big day. Third touchdown bomb of the day. Second to this man, Isaac Bruce. Rams on top, 28-14. Hey, Kevin, tell Jerry I'm really self-conscious about my collars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, he's got, I got to get him one of my shirts. Good fake by Meyer, first and ten. Whacked by Sean Jones. Pass caught by Brian Blades. 
He's got a first down to the Green Bay 22. It's a pickup of 12. What a nice throw off the bootleg. Remember, we asked him, what's your favorite play? Bootleg, bootleg. He's going to fake the bootleg, come around, and watch this area. The outside receiver. Oh, and he had to dodge, he had to dodge a guy from being sacked. He has to dodge somebody every day. First down and 10 from the Green Bay 22 for Seattle. Short drop back. It's back down. And incomplete, deflected by who else? Reggie, Reggie White. White. Reggie White is a drive killer. Just about the time you get yourself involved. What I like about Reggie White, he makes the big play at the big moment. Trying an arm over, swat. When he gets his sack is when it counts. He's not a guy that racks up stats when the game's over. He makes plays when plays have to be made. Ninth play of the Seattle Drive. They've got it second down and 10. They trail 24 to 10. Chris Warren, big hole. Warren to the Green Bay 17. George Koontz finally tackled it. And Koontz saved it. I think if, if Koontz would have missed the tackle this time, we had a ball game that was going to be seven points from each other. Koontz began on the outside. They shipped him to the middle, taking the place of Ron Cox. And initially, this was a replacement to take the place of Fred Strickland, who's now at Dallas. And Kutz gets an arm on him and slides down and gets his ankle. And Doug Evans did a good job of getting in on that too, shoving the wide receiver right back into the play. Kutz is out on long down. There's a pretty important third down and five for Meyer. And it's intercepted. He's picked off. Meyer picked off by Doug Evans. And he's got a galloping party with him. And Doug Evans, if he can keep his balance, and he cannot, goes all the way to the Seattle 28-yard line. Meyer throws his fourth interception today, a return of 63 yards. Meyer made the touchdown saving tackle. And you got to hand this one to the defensive coaching staff of the Packers. They showed all out blitz and then jumped into a zone. The poor young rookie quarterback reads blitz. Everybody's at a line of scrimmage and they fall into the zone. And the blitz means I got to throw a slant. Everybody on the outside is. Look at these people. That looks like blitz in a zone with people looking for the slant. They knew the checkoff for Meyer on the blitz was the slant, so they showed the young quarterback blitz and played zone, and that's why you win football games. Good job by Chris, uh, Fritz Schumer and the defensive staff of the Packers. Seattle season high, five turnovers. They are now negative 10 in the giveaway takeaway for the season. Four interceptions and a fumble. And, and there's Schumer. Fritz with the number one defense in the NFL. Well, he tricked him on that one. Now let's see if Arv can capitalize. He's going to change the play. First down and 10 from the 28-yard line. Look at the time for Favre. He tried to jam it inside to Antonio Freeman. A little bit low, incomplete. It'll be second down for Favre in the Green Bay offense. Well, he, he lost his starting flanker. Full press bump and run. He thought he was going to, if he would have had probably the, the starter in there, uh, Robert Brooks, he probably would have ran a fade. And that's what made Favre look twice. He thought he was going to get a fade and got a slant. This is the sixth time today Green Bay has started wow. a drive inside Seattle territory. Oh, they built, they built, the, there's the 46. They built a 46 defense on him. Second down and 10. The handoff goes to Bennett. Flags litter the field as Bennett ran over the right side and they blow it dead at the 25 yard line. They lined up in a 43, Kevin, and knew they were going to get the ball run on them and shifted to a 46, which is supposed to stop the strong side run. There's the defense. Watch them all shift around. Watch them walk in. He's got to move over here a little bit farther. You shouldn't be able to run strong side. While they were shifting and jumping around, they got in the bad area. Green Bay playing most of the game without Robert Brooks on the very first play. A pass intended for Brooks. He was drilled, taken off the field in a cart, concussion, out for the game. So they've had to go with Freeman, Desmond Howard, and Don Beebe. Terry Mickens, an ankle injury, can't play. Derek Mays, inactive list. Second down and five. Five, and he's going to the end zone. And looking for Freeman. What a catch at the one! 
and he's near the goal line. First and goal to go. Green Bay, a pickup of 22 yards. And you got to love the Packer philosophy. If you're the split in and the flanker gets injured, you go to flanker. And that's what's happened. He went over to the strong side. He's the outside on the slot. What a nice stretch. What a nice reach out for that ball. Oh, he didn't have that ball off. Woo! Antonio Freeman was the fourth receiver a year ago. Now he starts beating out Anthony Morgan for a slot. Green Bay from the goal line. First and goal. Clock ran down on him. And a timeout taken by Seattle. Seattle's timeout. defense calls a timeout. 11 17 First remaining in the game. The Packers threatening again up 24 to 10. Sunday is brought to you by the new Ford Expedition. The only way to get there. By Dockers Khaki. Hey, nice pants. By Fidelity Investments. Isn't it time you had Fidelity Investments working for you? And by Snickers. Not going anywhere for a while? Grab a Snickers. Hungry? Why wait? Green Bay, first and goal. We're in the fourth. Packers lead at 24-10. All right, the Seahawks have to fill up every gap. It's so close. Every down lineman in blue has got to go to the inside gap and a tight end move. The pitch out to Levens. The flag is thrown. And somebody moved a little bit early on the line. I believe it was 89, Chamura. Prior to the snap, false start, 89, offense, five yards, the snap. You wonder how a ball on that one foot line on all pro doesn't get the snap count. Right down there in that end zone, they're all standing in the 100 Please. level. Now they bring Levens out. They bring one of the tight ends, Jackson, out, and Thomason. They put in Bennett. They put in two receivers. First and goal from the six. You're close enough. Both corners are full press bump and run, so you got the fade either side. And off. Bennett to the five and a gain of one. Winston Moss plugged the gap. I got to say this. Winston Moss has played a good football game. If you're looking for a linebacker and this guy isn't signed, you'd go get him. This man has played as good as I've seen him play. Defensive captain looking over for the hand signal. He's got the defense. Going to step in there and tell everybody what we're going to play. Ten tackles today for Moss. Second down goal from the five for Brett Farr. And off to Bennett, tripped up in the backfield. Sam Adams came through. And Bennett inside the five where it is third and goal. Green Bay trying to capitalize on a interception return of 63 yards by Evans after Meyer threw his fourth interception of the day. Now they're doing a lot of substitution. They're going to go with uh, bringing another tight end, another back, but you got to say this. The Seahawks defense has hung in there. I don't know how they've hung in there so long. It's a very good point. Third and goal from the four. Jackson becomes a receiver to the bottom of your screen. The tight end. Levens is it. I don't believe it. Incredible. Defense playing that hard. That, that guy's just a wizard. Woo! with his fourth touchdown pass today. Well, you're calling this a touchdown pass. <laughs> it's an old Chuck ball. What a player. He's done that a couple times, oh, usually yeah. throwing it away. <laughs> Stopping him is a full-time job. Jackie to tack on another, and his extra point is good on the Craig Hendrick hold. 9.50 remaining at the Kingdom. We're in the fourth quarter, and Green Bay has opened it up on the Seahawks, 31-10. his fourth touchdown pass in a very unaccustomed uh, way when you said throw i guess we could i guess we could say throw but watch this he takes off like he's going to run it and he sees these two guys right here now look where this receiver is he pitches the ball this way for a touchdown you can't coach that now that's got to be inside that that guy is wide open kick off to steve broussard from the two-yard line for seattle and he's out to the 22-yard line 
Brought down by Packers special team player and backup tight end Jeff Thomas. 9.40 remaining in the game. Green Bay 31 to 10 over the Seahawks. Ladies. Brett Favre has thrown four touchdown passes. Green Bay over Seattle with Jerry Glanville, Kevin Harlan. The Kingdom filled the capacity. A lot of Packer fans here, and here's what all those Seattle turnovers have resulted in today. And you said he threw those touchdown passes. I'd say one of those was sort of a chuck. Seattle first down and 10 for their own 23. Right to work goes by. As the tight end, Christian Fourier. And he has a first down to his own 44-yard line, picking up 21. And that's the, uh, Fourier was the second round pick. That's the highest selection for a tight end in the history of the Seattle Seahawks. So they're trying to build a good team with high picks at every position. Broke a thumb in training camp, just recently healthy and back point. First and ten pass again. And again it's Fourier, the tight end to the 49-yard line. He picks up five. You're good with those names, Fourier. You're good. F-A-U-R-I-A, Fourier. From the University of Colorado. Second down, five. Meyer to the sideline and caught out of bounds. Very unusual. That was a deep out route. A deep out route is not what they usually throw, but Meyer, you can see he's got the arm. And he had the time. There's no pressure on him. Made a good throw. One of the biggest mysteries to me, Jerry, is that Joey Galloway has not been a bigger influence in the game today. They've thrown to him twice. I don't understand. That. He has not caught any passes and coming in he is the second leading receiver. Third down and five. Meyer hit by Reggie White and the ball jarred free on that third and five play. Meyer is down. Ball is loose. They call it an incomplete pass. Well, Meyer has been smacked not only by Reggie White, he's been smacked by Wayne Simmons, Santana Dotson. He's been hit and harassed. I think he's hurt now. He's, he's got his elbow tucked in. Looks like he hurt his wrist or his thumb. But nobody's been harassed any worse than he's been harassed by a good effort by the Green Bay Packers. We'd like to welcome the country to the Kingdom in Seattle. With Jerry Glanville, this is Kevin Harlan. It's been all Green Bay. Red Favre has thrown four touchdown passes. Meyer has thrown four interceptions. The Seattle quarterback has had a rugged day. And the punt by Rick Tootin and the fair catch at the 16-yard line by Desmond Howard. That is a 36-yard punt. Green Bay will start it at their own 16. Mike Holmgren and the Packers. Jerry with the win today. Tie Minnesota for first place at 4-1 in the Central Division. Well, they got to be feeling good. They not only played good, nobody thought the Giants were going to beat the Vikings. So all of a sudden you come out here, you, you, you take care of your own business, and you're right back in first place. How about Reggie White? What a day he's had. Reggie White had an interception earlier today, has had a knockdown pass. He has played like what he is, a 10-time All-Pro player. Kingdom in Seattle with Jerry Glanville, Kevin Harlan. First down and 10, and off to Edgar Bennett. He picks up two, making it second down and eight. Brought down by linebacker Michael Barber. Welcome you. If you're joining us uh, to the Kingdom right now, the Green Bay Packers and Brett Favre. Complete domination of the Seattle Seahawks. Four Favre touchdown passes. Two to Antonio Freeman. And Jerry, one of the big stories early in the game was that Robert Brooks, the top receiver on this team, Knocked out with the concussion. Knocked out on the very first play by Darrell Williams. They threw a slant, and they had to take him out on a golf cart. But the Packers just keep on moving under fire. Fire's had a great all-pro day today. Second down and eight. Hand off to Dorsey Levins. In of the yard is Sam Adams. Close the middle for the Seahawk defense. And Sam Adams and Cortez Kennedy have shut down plays right at them. The only way they could run at these two tackles was to pull the guards and get outside. When you run at those two, they smack you around along with Dean, Dean Wells. Even though the score is what it is, the defense uh, for Seattle has tried hard and played hard, but it's been the turnovers. Four interceptions will kill off any defense. There's the Fox schedule tonight. A big deal, and then the Sunday night movie. Once a thief. 
handoff. Dorsey Levins, and he plows his way to the 26-yard line. He'll be a yard shy of the first down. Linebacker Dean Wells again making the stop for the Seahawks. With the score like it is, I think the Seahawks have to play third and long like a rundown. That's what the Packers are going to do now. With a 31-10, to you won't see the passes being thrown. you got to get more people up in there to stop that run. Seahawks and Dennis Erickson today. Five turnovers, four interceptions by Rick Meyer. A lone touchdown by Seattle. A 37-yard touchdown run by Chris Wall. Hendrick the punt. Joey Galloway stationed inside his own 25-yard line on the 24. And the run up the sideline and out of bounds. Ronnie Harris returns it. That's a 17-yard return and a 51-yard punt. With the win today, the Green Bay Packers will be tied with the Minnesota Vikings for first place in the Central Division at 4-1. and one. It looked like that Central Division people were going to run off and leave it, either the Packers or Minnesota, but that Central Division always comes back and everybody's packed in there. Detroit's going to be in there. And who knows, with Chicago's win, they may crawl back up in there. John Freeze is the new quarterback for the Seahawks, replacing Rick Meyer, who threw four interceptions. Freeze, the former San Diego Charger and Washington Redskin throws, and he hits Joey Galloway for the first time today. Gain of 15 to the 45 of Green Bay. And nobody in the National Football League can throw that ball any better than John Freeze. That is a frozen rope. This is, he's on the right hash, throwing a deep out all the way across the wide side of the field, right on the money with excellent coverage. I never could under when he was at the Washington Redskins I thought he was the best quarterback there he beat a rookie quarterback Tyrone Williams out of Nebraska first down and 10 for freeze Chris Warren with a touchdown run today plus one a free again he's to the 30 yard line make it the 29 that is a gain of 15 yards and another Seattle first down Lineup tonight on Fox, following Fox's coverage of the NFL. Stay tuned for the big deal in the motion picture, Once a Thief. That's all coming up tonight after football, set on the West Coast. Broussard in the backfield. And Freeze was rushed incomplete. Santana Dotson up the middle. And Santana has made a difference on this football team, as, long, as well as uh, Gilbert Brown. Swats that thing right down. Twenty four points off of five turnovers. That's the difference in today's game. Seahawks have tried hard, played hard on defense, but they've been backed up on their side of the field in terrible ball game. Second down and ten for John Freeze. With time, the ball was tipped, deflected and incomplete. Looking for Mike Pritchard downfield and the coverage applied by the former Seahawk Eugene Robinson, who has an interception today and has played a great game at his safety. Underneath, underneath the receiver is Brian Blades. And somebody could have got arrested for mugging. There was a fight going on under there. If the fishers would have seen that with Brian Blades, he got rolled over and stomped on. Chris Warren back in the game. He's over 100 yards today rushing for the Seahawks. That may be a first for this whole season, it is. right? Third down and 10 coming up for Freeze, replacing the ineffective Rick Meyer. Freeze to four years. Down at the three yard line. Great coverage by Leroy Butler, who's been kind of quiet today as the leading tackler, but they haven't needed him. Well, the reason he's been quiet is is uh, the, the passes have been going out to the wide receivers. And of course, the quarterbacks have, you know, just been totally harassed by the Packer defensive line. Just a little bit long that time. Roy Butler had some new contacts for the Jerry. He said it's like night and day. His whole vision of the field and of the passing game has changed. He can see. Freeze going for it. Fourth down and 10 yards to go. Here comes Reggie White. Freeze still on his feet and finally sacked by Sean Jones. And for the Green Bay defense today, they have completely smothered Seattle's quarterbacking. Meyer was forced to throw when he wouldn't want to, and Freeze is brought down right there. And it goes back to the Packers on downs. 
Well, in this game, it's been all Green Bay Packers and quarterback Brett Favre. First, Antonio Freeman. Touchdown pass right there, set up by Eugene Robinson, interception. And then moments later, Reggie White with an interception. Then he gallops downfield, 67 yards, and brought the ball down for Green Bay in the first quarter to within scoring region. First down and 10 yards to go. From the 27-yard line, Far gives to Edgar Bennett. And he works over the right side to the 33. He picks up six. Michael Sinclair brings him down in the second quarter. Wayne Simmons came in, had the sack, and the ball recovered by Santana Dotson. And then Brett Favre with a great play to running back Dorsey Levins all alone in the end zone. And then it was Robert Smith last week for 37 yards. This week, running back Chris Warren, 37-yard touchdown for the Seahawks. And that was Seattle scoring in the game. Second down and six. Bennett again, 1,000-yard gainer from a year ago. And he's close to a first down. Needs to get to the 38, works it to the 36. Excellent block by William Henderson. He's been doing that all day. He's been the guy that's been digging out the linebackers, trying to smack him. He's done a good job on Michael Barber and Winston Moss. You have to have that big, full load to run up in there, and that's what the Packers have got now. defense has been out there a long time today. Wow, and on the wrong side of the field. Uh, really, they played, they've, it's hard to believe, with 31 points, there's an audible by Fire. They're going to pull his jersey. When he pulls his shoulder pad out, that switches the play. Not enough time. He ran off on the plate clock. Quickly burns the first of three timeouts. It comes with 353 remaining in the fourth quarter. Armed with four touchdown passes. Green Bay 31 and Seattle 10. Green Bay's quarterback Brett Favre with his third and fourth touchdown passes in the second half. One to Keith Jackson at 10 yards, and then this for a second time to Antonio Freeman. This is our favorite play. Gets chased. Looks like he's going to run it in. Defense comes up, and he just chucks it underhand. Antonio Freeman. Again, the weight of this offensive passing game, receiving-wise, has been put on Freeman's back, the fourth receiver a year ago. Now elevated to number one with the concussion to Robert Brooks in the first play from scrimmage today. Seattle will drop to one and four. Green Bay will go to four and one. Tied for first place. Third down and three for Fong. Good time in the pocket and the throw. It's a first down reception caught by Antonio Freeman. And Freeman down the sideline and out of bounds at the Seattle 37-yard line, a pickup of 28 yards. And that's the deep out again. And he has had great velocity on the football. He's had the RPM ball gunning that deep out. It's to the strong side, but he's on the short side of the hash. Makes it a little easier to throw. And a good escape by Antonio Freeman. They just keep coming up with flankers. Every time a flanker gets hurt, they move the split in the flanker, and that guy looks like the guy that they lost. Third day for Freeman, six catches, 95 yards, two touchdown receptions. And a game right there at 28 yards. First down and 10 yards to go, and the handoff goes to Edgar Bennett. And he's piled up in the middle of the gain of about a yard to the 36. Clock is running. Jerry for Green Bay coming back after that disappointing loss last week to the Minnesota Vikings. And who thought the Vikings would ever go and lose to the New York Giants? 15-10 was the final in that game. The Giants in the Meadowlands <laughs> beating Minnesota. All those fans in New York, they're jumping around tonight. Second down and nine. Bennett goes in motion out of the backfield. The pitch goes to William Henderson. And Henderson, a fullback, plows to the 32. Dean Wells makes the stop the middle linebacker for Seattle. One of the few carries the fullback gets, but it's a toss sweep against Dean Wells, the middle linebacker out of the University of Kentucky, who's played hard all day. One-on-one, -on -one. best man wins. 
Henderson been wondering when he's going to get a carry. All those knockouts, all those blocks he's been throwing. You see the Packers' sixth rushing attack in the NFL, up now to 140 yards on the day. Third down and five. Five. Nice catch made. Antonio Freeman. That's a first down to the Seahawks 19, tackled by Selwyn Jones. A 13-yard pickup. It's full press, full press bump around with a free safety. Free safety, free. If you come inside, this man's got to do the knockout because there's no linebacker, but it's all man-to-man. -man. And the safety's too deep to help. Not much help out of Darrell Williams. It's been all Green Bay. We are at the two-minute warning. Rodgers now in the top of the 11th. San Diego has scored two. The winner of that game, the National League Western Division champion. And the handoff, and it goes to William Henderson. Tackled by Glenn Montgomery, a former starter for the Houston Oilers. Right now for an NFL update, let's return to James Brown at our Fox Television Center in Hollywood. Kevin, Ken Graham, 34-56, 348 yards, four TDs, including this one to Frank Sanders. The point after is good, and it's all tied in Arizona at 27. Back to Kevin and Jerry. All right, JB. 31-10 is the score here with Jerry Glanville, Kevin Harlan. Seahawks with the loss will drop to one and four. Second down and nine. gives off to Bennett. Walking went down. The defense of Philip Daniels smelled it out for the Seahawks. And you gotta love the Seahawks defense. Everybody, we're showing that thing on the sideline where really the guys on the field are still playing hard. That's the offensive players all discouraged, but the defensive players never have got discouraged. They've never had field position, but they've never quit playing. They never quit spilling their guts. Edgar Bennett, 94 yards on the day. Third down and eight, Green Bay. Green Bay next week will take on Chicago. Then San Francisco on Monday night at Lambeau. A couple tough games coming. There's one today. It was a little throw out to the wing. Caught by Desmond Howard and the former Heisman Trophy winner out of Michigan to the 12. Walked down by Robert Blackman. And shy of a first down by two and a half yards. I believe the uh, Packers would just let the clock run out here if they can. So Green Bay is back in first place, although tied with the Minnesota Vikings. Now at 4-1. Detroit just one game back. They beat Tampa Bay today. They're 3-2. This whole, uh, this whole division is going to get real tight and real close. Like it always does. It always looks like someone's going to run off and leave them. And they all gather up at the end. Brett Favre with four touchdown passes today. Interceptions by Eugene Robinson, Reggie White, Craig Newsom. And Evans. We'll be back right after this. The Packers kind of up on top 31 to 10. Big day for Reggie White. One interception. Four passes defended. Green Bay wins it. Brett Favre. Four touchdown passes. The Packers convert five Seattle turnovers into 24 points. Now for Jerry Glanville, this is Kevin Harlan saying so long from the Kingdom. Final score, 31-10. The Packers, you've been watching the NFL on Fox.